We are back at the Cass County Pioneer Log Cabin Museum. Suffer? Suffer? This is taking a dark turn. It is. You always seem so fascinated with that officer's desk. Is that your desk? Hey guys and gals, it's your buddy Drew, and Mike's in the museum right now with the curator, Marsha. We are back at the Cass County Pioneer Log Cabin Museum for Investigation 2. We, uh, we were here a couple weeks ago on the first floor only. You guys remember, we got a lot of communication, we got a lot of interaction a lot of residual and intelligent responses to our questions. We decided it was time to come back and do the second floor, which is all the taxidermy work, the bedroom setups, the old beds, the old feather mattresses, the old furniture, the dolls. We're gonna see what we can round up on this second investigation. First one was epic. We're gonna see if we can go beyond epic this time. Let's head in there. It's a nice blanket. <coughs> All right, guys. Never. This is kind of a pre-investigation. It's not yet dark. Never. Uh, what is never it? Never take your blanket. You said, it said never? Never. Already they're active. We, uh, when, uh, my, when I was doing the intro, Mike was downstairs in the tool room with Marsha, and he, uh, he managed to lock on to that little girl that we met in there Sophie. the last time we were here, Sophie. And she was communicating through his device. I have got the K2 meter sitting over here. If you guys will look real quick. If you look at that uh, a K2 meter over there sitting on top of that baby stroller, it's going like crazy. Mike's over there by the spinning wheels. They too are very active. There's another spinning wheel. This is a big one too, isn't it? Are you still here? So, I've got, uh, I've got cat balls set out over here by this little uh, dollhouse over here. I've got a cat ball sitting down over here in the rocking chair. I have got the K2 meter on top of the uh, baby doll stroller. Coffee grinder. I've got a, um, 
My favorite. I got a uh, magnetic That's field detector on. over here on the shelf behind the wood-burning stove. I've got the tri-field meter, the voice recorder, and, well, it works. of course, our SP7 spirit box. Stab. 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 Well, that's not off to a good start. Did you get stabbed? Let's get on with this. I know it's by the stove. It'd be easy to get something stabbed. At. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Controversy. Controversy? Was your stabbing a controversy? It's over. What's over? Was the controversy over? You can tell us more. Whatever it is, it's pretty much over by now. Was that you causing the Florida Creek just then? Yeah. Okay. You'll find me shifting my weight all evening. There we go. Selected. Selective. Who were selected? Were you selected? Suffer. Suffer. This is taking a dark turn. It is. Did you suffer? Were you stabbed? Tell us more. Is anybody here? Anybody over here against this wall between the filigree rocking chair and the rope bed? If you guys will look by the dollhouse and in the small rocking chair, there are little tiny round clear balls. If you touch either one of those balls, you'll make all kinds of lights go off on them. They won't make any noise, but you'll make really pretty gold and blue and red lights go off. Is so this conversation over? If anybody wants to touch any of those, I've also got a little silver box in my hand right here. I'll be asking you questions here in a minute, and if you try really hard, we can hear your voice on this little box. Anybody want to try to touch those little balls? Come on. Try really hard. Somebody touch my balls. Hold still. Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot believe I said that. That was too easy. If anybody wants to try to touch those little clear balls, make the lights light up, that's good. You see them over there? by the little dollhouse that you can see through. All right, I'm gonna turn on this little box now and I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna go back over here where it's creepy. Hello, my name is Drew. This is Mike over here beside me. We are here to learn about you, to learn about your, your history, your lives, we were here just a few weeks ago downstairs, and we got a lot of communication downstairs. And I figured this being more personal, um, uh, personal beds, personal cradles, toys, that you might be more eager to communicate with us about your stuff. Do you have anything to say to us? I can hear you on this machine as well. You want to say something? Hello. My name is Drew. This is Mike over here beside me. We're here to learn about you, to learn about your 
Yep, your right. history, your lives. We were here just a few weeks ago downstairs, What's and different? we got a lot of communication different. downstairs. Different. And I figured this being more personal, um, a personal beds, personal cradles, toys, that you might be more eager to communicate with us about your stuff. Right. You, you have anything to say to us? Can you make that little ball in the rocking chair light up? Let me stand aside a little bit. And over here. Solar. My name is Drew. Solar. Thor. Solar. Solar. We are here to Solar. Your history. Check this out, guys. And we got a lot of communication. Beds, personal cradles, talk. Say to us. Now, if you listen right here close to the end, we get we get a very weird popping sound that we didn't hear when we were recording. That's Mike's detector beeping. Can you make that little ball light up? That'd be really, really cool. There's another one over there. Racial. Hmm. Racial? Racial. Fascinating. You're going to have to explain yourself more than racial. I guess there's a lot of things in this museum that pertain to racial inequalities and uh, the race what the, how the hell do I want to put this, man? The way this particular county has supported freedom since day one, forever? That's actually a very good way of putting it. Um, um, long story short. Ever since the county was founded, it's been part of the Underground Railroad movement, moving uh, um, escaped slaves from the south out of Ohio into Fort Wayne, from Fort Wayne up here across the line, from here to Canada. Schoolcraft, Detroit. Yeah, Schoolcraft, Edwardsburg, right up the road. Yep. <laughs> we gotta go do the Bonine House. I wish we could go do the Bonine House. Racial. There's some racial stuff downstairs. Books. Mostly. If anybody would like to speak to us, you can speak through this little box in my hand. Your voice will come through in different tones. We're clear. Now, due to my balance problems, you're going to hear creaking and all kinds of stuff all night. A mess. He's a mess. I am a mess. It said he was talking about losing your balance, and it said he's a mess. I am a mess. I'm a better mess than I used to be. All right. Balance. It said balance. Oh, my God. Yeah. You want to talk some more now? Explicit. Explicit? It's being very explicit. Wow, this thing's off the charts, bro. Are you angry about something? Have you done wrong? Oh my god. Dress. 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 There's dresses over here. The room. Hurry! Dress, hurry! 
The one across the room? This dress is moving. This dress is moving. That dress moved. Uh, yes, it did. I was sitting there right, I was looking right at the blue top on it. I was sitting there doing this. Uh -huh. Like a rapid, like a rapid breathing. Well, he said hurry. Go back. Walter. 70. Walter, are you here? That's a cool name. That's a good name. Walter, were you 70? Please tell us, Walter, were you stabbed in a racial incident? Bonus. Do I get the bonus? Am I getting close, Walter? I gotta say, that ain't right. If that's the case, there's nothing I can do for you now except listen to what you have to say. Maybe tell your story to some people. My friend Drew over there, he takes pictures that move. And he tells stories all the time about people. I always like this stove. You like this stove? Oh my God, Drew, Drew. I hear it. You don't see it. Overwhelming. Walter, are we overwhelming you? Are you being overwhelmed? We can help. Heat. Heat. Yes. Oh my God, dude. I'm standing over this stove, bro. Is this your stove, Walter? I gotta say, it's a nice stove. Tell us your story, Walter. If that's your name, I want to know. I really do. This goddamn thing is really Candy. 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 Did you like some candy? Did you like candy? We don't have any. Did you like it? This area is hot, hot, hot over here. This whole area. Artifact. It said heat. It said overwhelming. Artifact. Yep. This whole thing is an artifact. This is a museum and we love it. Are you happy here? Is this a good place to be? You're not an artifact. You're a soul. And we want to hear your story. This happens to be your home. And it's not that bad, I guess. You know I've been in here a lot. Drew has too. Go ahead and, uh, I know it might be overwhelming, and if you want us to come back, let us know, and we'll leave you alone for a while. You can get your energy back. And we can come back. But let me ask one favor of you before we leave, okay? You see this little silver stick over here? I'm pointing at it. Can you touch that and make the light go off? And then we'll leave you alone because I know that's going to take everything you've got to do that, Walter. And this whole thing's overwhelming. And we don't like that. And we don't want to do that to you. We want to hear your story. We want to tell your story. We don't want you to be overwhelmed anymore. Fair enough. Can you touch that? You see it? See that box? Roof. I'm pointing this thing towards the damn roof. Roof. A oh, group. I thought ah. it was a roof. Roof. I just about peed on myself. Did you pedal a little? I Is might there have. a group of you here? How many? 
How many, Walter? Okay, I'm getting the highest K2 readings over here towards the bed. Another stove, Drew. Say stove again? No, I'm saying it's, it's a, another big reading by the stove. Different stove, but nonetheless. Is this your stove? Temple. Temple. An assemblage of words. This is so weird. I'm getting very, very high readings right here can you make can you touch that box with the silver stick and make it light up coffee i bet you could do it with a cup of coffee couldn't you walter huh Yeah, I was trying to say, let's step out for a few minutes and leave everything running. They'll be able to, the camera will be able to pick up the, uh, the field detector going on. You got the little mapping going on, man. That thing's super cool. You I'm, I'm need, going to here in a bit. You need to use that right over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to, but I want to give them time to rest first. We're going to step out, guys. Probably step outside. That way there's no noise. Um, Clockwise. Clockwise. That's the direction we just moved was well, clockwise. Well, I got a digital watch. But yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to step out. We're going to leave everything running. Let us know if you catch anything while we're gone. Yeah, yeah. As we start going through the taxidermy room to uh, get to the stairs, which is about an 11-12 pitch, uh, we begin talking about the drinks that we're drinking, and I was telling him about my ghost, and he mentioned his drink, and this next response kind of made us both freeze. That's a good guess. I like grape too, but they don't make it. What was your favorite, grape? Where we are going is outside and approximately 50 feet east of this location. I can assure you that anything that is heard during this experiment is not caused by us. Uh, we attempted to throw a debunking in uh, to see if our voices could be heard and they could not.
At this point, we are reopening the front door to get the cooler air back in the cabin before we come back in. Uh, anything heard from here out voice-wise is probably us. Any other noises are still unidentified. I don't know, but those stairs got me steep where you could ski down them. Yeah, they're pretty steep. Cloud right off the bat. Not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful day. Yeah, but I was standing still over here earlier holding the video camera on it. And you can see it moving. Walter, is this your dress? Foundation garments. Blanket chest with all kinds of good stuff in it. Whoa. Well, are you in that chest? For heaven's sake. You in there by yourself? Roof. I opened the chest and it went off. Tell us your name. Are you Violet?
gather your energy back up um, I'm here with this little silver box in my hand again if you uh, if you try really hard and you speak to me it should pick up your voice a noise that you make that we can't hear with our ears anything like that please uh, please try to communicate with us when we leave here, we'll make sure and help you to regain some energy again so you can keep motivated. Could you say something? Or could you make a noise? Could you do something where this little box could pick you up? Rob. Rob, Stab, Rachel, Overwhelming. Can you touch that silver stick over there? Round. I want to know more about you. Ring. silver box in my hand again if you uh if you try really hard and you speak to me box to pick you up wow Hello, we're back. Rob. Rob, Stan, Rachel. That was weird. It was a scratching noise and then it was a pop. Like a hammering. Like a hammering. Do that again. over there in the corner. Well, what do you think, brother? I 
think I've got a constant low level K2 field or a low level magnetic field over here at this bed. What does that tell you? I'm looking. Uh, that's telling me that there is a rise in the magnetic field right over here. Is that? But is I that, also is that what we're looking it, for? Yes, I also had it over here at this baby stroller with the twin babies laying in it. See, now I detected nothing. I did that. So, everybody chill out. I did that. I detected nothing over there. I didn't know you want. I could keep this thing turned down as much as you want, bro. No, you're fine. That's just kind of <coughs> true. You don't pull the SP7 back out. Try it. And my shoulder's still good. All right, now, I didn't touch that, and I don't know if the shaking of the floor did that when you just took off. No, it, had, it literally has to be moved. Yeah. Shaking of the floor did it. What the hell? For those of y'all in the viewing audience, this floor is very. My name is Drew. Could anybody here please tell me your name? I heard a why. Balls. It said balls. Institutional. Could you keep talking to me, please? Don't be quiet now. We're here to learn about you. We're here to prove to people that death is not the end. Walter, did we wear you out? You're not to be found, Walter. Here. It said here. Scans to all the AM and FM bands at about about 200 candles a minute. That's what it sounds like in my head when I go to sleep at night. <laughs> Your brain is a is a SP7 servo. I'm telling you, bro. That's exactly what it sounds like. I could write music and work. Do one music. of these items belong to you? General. Do one of these items in this room belong to you? Did you say the bed? No. Extreme what?
Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Yes, I'm asking questions. We're trying to learn about you. We're trying to learn your history, your stories. We don't mean for it to be a questionnaire. I see that it seems like that. Glad to see you got your strength back a little bit. Yeah. I think she might have known. Well, I know they're not feeding off the camera this time because I got it power packed up. Or power backed up. So weird. Sophie, Violet. It's over here. Over it's not there. Yeah, That's over know. here again. I don't know about up here, bro. I really don't. Downstairs, I felt <sighs> much more direct. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to. Except for this little first conversation we had over yeah, here, a little right, talk. Come over here. I think we wore Walter out. Walter, I think, was involved in, a, in an unfortunate altercation or an incident. Walter might even close. move this operation downstairs. These spirits up here are tired, they're worn out. I got a feeling it's due to uh Yeah we might get busy here in a minute. I got a feeling it's due to the fact that nobody comes up here. I don't want to walk through this room here though. Yeah you guys gotta check this room out. Over there dude. Thought is that given the amount of hands that have been laid on the projects in this room, we've got tramp art, we got folk art, we got taxidermy, 160 year old taxidermy. More of it, more of it, more of it. All the whole room is full of 160 year old taxidermy or more. And the tramp art and the folk art that people have made with their hands, there has to be residual energy in here. This one over here in particular. This is made out of walnut shells. Oh, Paul. Paul, did you make that? Paul, if you made that, I've really admired your work for a long time because that must have took you all of a whole Michigan winter to put that thing together. Do you mind if I show people what I'm talking about, Paul? Will they understand? All right, y'all, this is cool. This is made out of walnut shells. And somebody has cut and stacked together and glued and turned into, I don't know if you can see it, but that's as close as I'm gonna get. Paul, Paul's not liking this at all. Paul, you gotta be proud, man. Recent, no, not recent. Well, you do nice work, buddy. That was, uh, okay, it's called the Crown of Thorns design, and that's used with no glue or nails. Money. That's worth a lot of money, Paul. Did you make money doing that? Million? Oh, come on. Did you really? I mean, if you did, that's, that's cool. We've got drums from Africa here. We've got a mastodon bone. Some K2 
caveman probably made soup out of that. Oh, 0. 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.9, 1.0. 1.0. There's got to be residual energy in here, dude. Okay, down to 0. 0.1, 2, 3, 2. We even got a full size alligator in here, y'all. Right there. Taxi derby style. 90 degrees, 0.8 milligauss, yeah. right here. Try those Civil War drums. I didn't get anything, but. The first prayer in Congress, 1.0, 0.9. Point O. They like to explore in the dark. African drums. Borneo. Papua New Guinea. And that's headhunter stuff there, but now explain those readings to me. I can communicate, but I don't know all the details. Well, the milligauss is just like the K2 meter. It tells you when there's a rise in um, electromagnetic. Energy. In now that area. indicates what? That it. Yep. They're scaling real high. Violent. That's awful funny. You put that right up against the uh, picture of first prayer in Congress and it says violent. So the higher the milligauss, the more intense the energy? Yep. More, uh, the higher the milligauss means that the higher the electromagnetic energy in that area, which means that chances are something is manipulating said area. Said area. Very cool. I'm a rookie, y'all. But I know what I feel and I know what I see. And I said it before, some of this stuff happened anywhere but this log cabin. I would not be doing this, but this scared the whole living crap out of me. This place is a trip. Just happens to be like <laughs> one of my happy places. Okay, that's that just <laughs> me up right there. Hold up. I was standing here taking a reading off the display case right here, and I heard the floorboard behind me squeak. That was me, bro. No, I was over there facing this way. Something back over here by the window made the floorboard squeak. No, this whole floor is dinky. Disappointed actually. In a way. 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Yeah, 0 I got 8. something over here from Paul. Paul, are you still here? Paul made this beautiful picture frame, one of my favorites. Said he made a million of them. For a million dollars. I don't know what you're just gonna say. Is it good or bad? Up or down? Uh temperatures Part drop two degrees. That's a good thing. Um, it's gone from 0.4 up to 0.9. Now it's bouncing back between back and forth between 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Margin. Margin. Before it goes off the scale, guys. If you look at that scale there at the top, you would have seen a bunch red of red, and red and orange going across the top of it right there. He just scaled higher than I've ever seen this thing go before. 
It either walked through me or I walked through it. Paul, was that you? You just started handing me down stuff. Oh, you're going to give him a tour? Yeah, a quick one. Good idea. Okay. I thought I just saw something move behind the door, but it was uh, the way I was angling myself. Old drums up there. More birds. Mastodon femur. Hey, man, Sue. Told you there was an alligator. Oh, and here's Paul's. Show him Paul's. Yep. Paul's uh, picture frame. As you see, it moves a little bit. A crown of thorns. No glue or nails used. Them's human bones? Possibly. I never noticed those before. They look like it. Oh, it looks like a femur. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like is a femur. That looks like a hog bone. Yeah, that's a hog bone. That looks like a freaking femur. Whoa. Dude. Now, is this recording audio as well? Yes. See, look at all these. Can you believe there's no residual energy? A lot of these items, guys, belong to uh, a collector that lived out around Diamond Lake. Um, our, our, our nice, nice, you know, two, three, four, five million dollar houses. Yes. And when he passed away, he wanted all of this stuff preserved at the museum. So it was all donated to the museum. And it's all very, very old. Which is why we have an entire room of... Now show them the floor. <laughs> this floor, you can see through it in some spots. So a lot of the creek and a lot of the... That's, that's me stumbling around in the dark, I'm sure. Did you show them the bald freaking eagle? Hmm? Yeah? Which bald freaking eagle? There's one over there, son, right there, bro. Oh, there he is. Now nah, I was too busy looking at the badger. Snow owl, red tail hawk, barred owl, and I believe we have a passenger pigeon. Yep. Which is now extinct. Which makes me proud to be a human. <laughs> right? See? Right? Yeah. Show them this. You can see right through the floor, y'all. See the light? Y'all got to remember, though, this floor was built in 1923. Mm -hmm. And it's bearing a lot of weight. It bears a lot of weight. All right. I'm going to start shuttling. I'm going to shuttle this case. And then uh, I'll come back and you can hand me the tripod down the steps so you don't have to carry it. Got you. I want to show you guys these stairs you've heard us talking about in the background. Yeah. They all love these stairs. Those are 90 degree stairs. Traditional 90 degree stairs. I mean, they're they're See, literally uh, okay, 85 degrees. Yeah, I would say they're probably 80 degrees. That's fair. What uh, people in the roofing industry refers to as an 11, 12 pitch. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, and they're all so worn. Uh, the rail, the steps themselves, the treads, they feel like plastic. They don't even feel like wood anymore after 100 years of people treading up and down, especially the handrail with all the oils from people's skin. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even feel like wood. It doesn't even look like wood, but it is. Okay, guys and gals, we are back down here on the main floor. It's about 10 or 12 degrees cooler down here. But besides that, we came back right here to the, the, the limb that we got so much activity from on the Chickamauga, from the Chickamauga battlefield, from the Civil War. 
We have got a cat ball sat right here on this display case. Of course, back behind it, Jacob. you can see the K2 Charles. meter. Back over here, if you look really close, you can see the green light on the tri-field detector. And then down on top of the officer's desk behind Mike down there, we have got another cat ball. Um, we're going to step out for just a couple minutes and we're going to let them communicate. No one has really been here with the exception of a few hours on the weekends for the Very last three weeks since we were here. Very few hours. We're going to see. And this is the last weekend it's going to be open, isn't it? Uh, Labor Day weekend, yeah. It's a shame. Such a nice museum. It's only open from Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend. If they had more people come, if they had more money, Jeez, don't get me started on that. Donate. Yeah. These museums are worth it. This museum, this little teeny tiny county museum, has got one of only five existing freedom four, four existing freedom aprons anywhere. Secession aprons. Secession aprons from anywhere in the continental States. United States. And it was found right here. Yep, it was found right here by in a me. box of old dirty tools and stuff. By me. Nobody knew what it was. They pulled it out. By me. <laughs> it was an 1865 secession apron from the south. Yeah, so we, Jefferson Davis. Yep. It's an amazing piece. It's so fragile. It's We tried to hang it, and it was almost like trying to hang up cobwebs. <laughs> so we displayed it like that instead, but... Uh, when, when we turn the lights back on, I'll make sure Drew gets a shot of that. It's a beautiful piece. And like I said, it is only one of four in the country. Yep. Ah, see, I'm stumbling. I've got traction. On flat ground. Yeah, on flat ground. My chucks bit in. All right. You All and right. your chucks come this way. But uh, let's let everybody do their talking.
try to fill the meter shut off again. This is the only place I've ever been in where the tri field meter automatically shuts itself off. If it is shutting itself off. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, it's, 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 it's coming to life. Yeah, it is. Take up. I'm seeing oranges. This piece coming up right here completely blew me away in editing. You tell me what you hear. I believe I'm hearing a class A voice phenomenon responding to Mike's question. Some stuff already in it. Jacob, Charles? Oh, Ron? Ron? Ron, is that you? He's got names, he's got names, so many names. Ron, Jacob, Jacob, Ronald. Charles Jacob Ronald, no. I know this is your desk though. Whatever your name is. I wish I could get that musket down. I had it down. Cleaned it one day. They cut me loose, but she cut me loose. I mean, I went loose. I cleaned the saber. Let's see if that's a saber. A musket. I didn't get the shotgun over the fireplace. It's kind of quiet right here. Ron? I'm, I'm not getting anything. Temperature's gone down. Wow, three more degrees. Ron? Oh, point one. And back to point zero. Charles? Point one again. Jacob? Coming over to your tree. We're back. Going back to point one, but it's not going any higher. As soon as I move away from the dollhouse, it goes to zero point zero. You can uh, you can adjust your volume on that. Fixed. Fixed. Yes, I asked him to fix his volume. Fixed. Here we go. Well, there you are. Oh, look at that. Red. Wow. Reds. Wow. Wow. Hi, guys. It's a shame to have to meet you this way, but I'm glad to meet you. Whoa, bro. Jesus Christ. Hello. 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 Dude. That's for real. Really, yeah, really. Really, Hello. really. Yeah. Really, I wish I could have met you before. We could have probably sit down and had a cup of coffee, a fine cigar, and discuss the stupid ways of the world, brother. Did you miss us? I thought about you. I came in here a couple weeks ago to check on you guys, but somebody was here with a white beard, and he didn't seem real friendly, so. And that was a real person, not a, a spirit. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you know anything about this apron? Hmm? Jacob? Charles? I wish I knew which one of you you were. Ron? Ron's a new one. Oh my God. Hmm. When you come up here to the bib on the apron, you're getting a very light intermittent feel. But as you move down the apron, it gets stronger. It gets See that much stronger. Constant. You guys got anything to do with this? Whoa, shit, the damn ball just went right off under my arm. Really? Yep, and I was... Well, there we go. I was probably five inches above it. All right, guys. Who is it? Can we do it again? Oh, look at this. 
That was solid. You guys are waking up. Hmm? Can you make that ball flash colors again? Coming over to check out your desk. I'm not going to hurt it though. Bear. That, Lord, I hope not. Bear. Bear. Is that your nickname? Were you a big man that they called Bear, or a little man they called Bear ironically? Hmm? Yeah, we seen you over here last time we were here. Yep, I think I'm gonna kick on the uh, SLS. Okay. I'm gonna mess with see what we can see. I'm gonna lift this up. I, I appreciate that. Solely. Hmm. hmm. You always seem so fascinated with that officer's desk. Is that your desk? Can you can you look at the desk and okay well look back at me, thank you. But can you look at the desk and maybe nod or stick out your arm or something and acknowledge that that's your desk? Can Look, you move that little plastic ball? You just moved your arm. I see that something like you lowered a shoulder. Mm-hmm. Can you touch that little clear ball? Like glass? And if you touch that, it'll make lights go off. It's real pretty. Hmm? Where's your buddy? Charles? Jacob? Ron? Ron? Sophie? Violet? We've got all these names, but we can't sort you guys out, and we'd really like to be able to do that. If your name is Charles, can you raise your hand? If your name's Jacob, can you raise your hand? If you're a man, can you raise your hand? You look comfortable. Are you watching us watch you? Let me see this. I won't be able to see it. Well, you will eventually. No, it, it didn't record. Oh, it recorded up to then. I got what you wanted to get. No, but it, once it counts down, it erases the whole thing. Well, he's back. If you can touch my hand, my <clears throat> friend, you can have some of my energy. You can feel my hurt for you. He's either standing right next to you or, or it's mapping you one or the other. Nancy. Nancy's not here anymore. Just touch me, my friend. Now, how do I keep it from... As soon as it starts to have numbers in the circle, hit that circle. Thank you for making contact with me. I really appreciate it. Anytime I can help, my heart rate's like... It wasn't him. 100 beats a minute right now. It wasn't him. No stroke. Nope. No stroke. It wasn't him. I'm saying. Huh. Can you come back? 
Let me see you again. Let me see both of you, please. Well, let's just run for just a second with the lights on, see if either one of those cat balls go off. <coughs> Take my ghost and step outside for a second because that, that really me up.
toys at the house. And that apron. Oh, you're showing the apron? Oh. Dude, the couch is missing. That was used to be over here. Missing? You used to be a big couch right yeah, here. Yeah, right there behind the ropes. That's very, very weird. They stole your couch, didn't they? Mm. I don't know, but this, this ghost Swedish fish is good. Swedish fish? Yep. I'm not even going to touch that. Well, it's sweet, Swedish fish flavor. They got Swedish fish and Sour Patch Kids, Bubblelicious Bubblegum. So what does Swedish fish taste like? Swedish fish? It tastes like Swedish fish. Those little gummy Swedish fish. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I can think of is like sardines. No, those little red jelly gummy fish that you buy at like the dollar store. Never heard of them. But all right, guys. I think... I think we're pretty much at an end with this one. We've done the upstairs. We're back down here. The activity is mostly here. We did get some upstairs, but not as much as we do down here. You got to show them this apron. Yeah, I'm definitely going to show you guys a, a clip of the apron here at the end. But um, One of four. Yeah, it's been a good investigation. It's been a real good investigation. I really enjoyed this. I want to thank the curator of the museum, Marsha, for, you know, letting us come in here. And, uh, you know, even though we're no longer volunteers here at the museum, still supporting us and letting us support them. Um, it said round when I walked up to you. said round? You talking about my round ass? <laughs> round and firm, baby. But... If you guys, if you guys love history like we love history, I encourage each and every one of you to get a hold of me at Living Histories Mysteries. And if you would like to make a donation to help this place out, they're 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 struggling right now to try to get the money to get a heating air conditioning unit put in here because the the rapid variations of temperatures in here between summer and winter mm. is slowly but surely eroding away precious pieces like the freedom apron like these drum heads like these baby doll dresses from the 19th century so i encourage you you know to donate to your local museum if you'd like to donate to this one like i said contact me at Living Histories Mysteries, and I'll tell you how that you can donate, or we can donate as a group. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, it's our history. You know what they say. Those that don't know it. Those that don't learn from it are destined to repeat it. You got it. So, that's it. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. God bless you. God love you. We do. And we'll see you out there. Bye. Now you gotta show me a picture.